when we were taken as part of the drug experiments that they gave to us there in Menlo Park, it seemed right. And here's uh, America going forward in the way it's supposed to go forward. We're supposed to explore these new lands, and this is definitely a new damn land. And the uh, doctors didn't have the uh, balls to go in there and do it themselves, so they hired um, students to do it. The CIA brought LSD to the USA. It was the government. I mean, shit, the government's giving you this drugs. It's bound to be good stuff, and it was the best stuff of all. All of us had read Kerouac. We were spawn of Kerouac. Uh, Neil Casty was a, a hero. This was the best gunfighters in the West, and, and they were kind of taking us on to show us, you know, how to do gun tricks. And it was an honor, tremendous honor, still is. It's difficult to explain because what we're talking about is psychedelics. And people have always known that you need that little madness, but it was a while before anybody found the right pill to give you that little madness that you can dip into and come back from. One of the great revolutionary lessons is learn how to grovel. Learn how to look at your feet, say, oh darn, I done it, yep, yep, you got me. Uh, give those bulldogs their chance and not go against them. If, they, if you go against them, you're connected to them. We can all stand out here and give him the finger, but we don't want to tease a bulldog. He knows there's no grass growing here. Anybody who's done anything with dope at all knows that you've brought in your harvest by now. They, that cop knows that I am a threat, and he's right. I am a threat to him. I'm a threat to his uh, wife and to his kids because I represent a threat to the life that they have embraced and they know it's a lie.